So one of the highlights of being here at the Intermot show and working on the knock stand all week is getting to check out some absolutely beautiful bikes. And we'd be remiss if we did not mention these, the new Ducati uh, Scramblers. Um, and actually it just so happens that we're about 30 meters away on the knock stand. And we've been looking at this all week and pfft, you have to say these are three or actually four particular models that have just come out then they're absolutely stunning obviously building on the massive success that is the ducati scrambler yeah. this one is the full throttle and it's got me captivated Would you yeah agree? i mean I, I to be honest the, the the really cool thing they've done this time around obviously that from 2015 when the scrambler was introduced they've had i mean it's been a, a you know a massive success um the most popular bike that ducati have made over the last number of years yeah. Um, so what I, what I think what Ducati have done, which is pretty clever, is they've not made a massive amount of change. You know, the bike sure. looks pretty much identical. The architecture is the same. They've just made some small tweaks. So you've got an LED uh, daytime running light. You've got um, some slight tweaks. The engine, it now makes 72 horsepower. Uh, some, so I think what they've, what they've tried to do is they've listened to the market they've listened to the riders so they've also improved information on the display so it's now got a fuel gauge it's now got gear position indication mm. which to be honest at this money and we'll get to the money part of it um i'm sure at some point in this video I, i've got to say i would expect that yeah. um it's got a new imu so it uh, essentially means that it's got cornering abs i mean all brand yes, new bikes now that. have abs but yeah. cornering abs which is a pretty cool feature um and then of course what they've also done so the standard bike the icon is very much the same as the original bike but instead of uh what they did with the the other models they look very very similar they've changed them completely for this time around like you said this is the full throttle i love the paint job on this bike oh, this yeah, is I my mean, favorite reminds me of the, all, all the kenny roberts stuff you know, yeah it's kenny robert colored scheme it looks absolutely unbelievable um, you know I, I i actually listened to the um original sort of like ducati marketing guy talking about the scrambler and what it was about and stuff and he's like look the scrambler's about this it's got two wheels it's got a nice motor on it it's about just getting out there and yeah. riding and i think what they're doing with these is just really building on the success of that and obviously the aesthetic pleasing thing that the scrambler does oh, I, I, you know? and they're just adding to that because i mean i come into this show and i look at this bike and i think oh my gosh i really really would love this bike. i mean it's, it's no wonder it's been a huge successful bike it's not only a great looking bike but i think you know it's widely reported as being a really really easy bike to ride well first time riders guys coming back to the to the to the motorcycles you know it, 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 it ticks a huge number of boxes and it's got a very very wide appeal hasn't it yeah. um, and particularly with this new styling campaign it, it is a gorgeous looking motorcycle yeah nice, so that, nice power you know, nice yeah, power. sensible so power, yeah, yeah, decent yeah. torque, do, decent power. It's not going to, you know, rip your air off, but it, but it, you know, you can get it down the road and hustle it. it yeah. It's good fun. It's not intimidating. No, it's a twin, so it's got it's got plenty of torque. I mean, I've ridden, you know, for quite a few years, a bike with seventy horsepower, and it's really nice amount of power for the road. You can really wring its neck and have really good. Well, Good laugh. And with a V-twin, you've got a bike with a bit of character. Yeah. It makes a nice noise. Another thing that they've done this year as well, I think, which is pretty important, is they've changed the seat slightly, so it's a slightly wider seat. It's Softly, also got a, yeah. it's, it's got a thicker foam, so you get a bit more comfort out of it. A um, couple of other small changes as well. The suspension is a very slightly softened. Okay. And again, I think, you know, uh, the, the, those who've ridden it, and it has been ridden, um, you know, if you're really pushing, then you can, you can perhaps sense that. But in the real world, nobody's going to ride the bike like that. So softening that suspension, slightly softer seat, it's just a more comfortable bike to ride. It makes course. perfect sense to me. Absolutely. Well, it seems kind of like crazy that we've been actually doing most of the talking around this bike <laughs> because this is actually the one that I think Cafe is, Racer. Yeah, for me, is the most stunning, which is the Cafe Racer. So obviously it's built, you know, on the same uh, basis, everything's pretty much the same, but they've changed it. They've, so they put the clip-on bars, they've put the hard seat new reseat cowl, yeah, yeah exactly. completely, you know, different paint job, different numbers. tires, obviously as well. Yeah, I mean, it, it, as a styling exercise, they've done a fantastic oh. job. Drop bars and another significant difference with this is the spoke wheels, which are gorgeous. Yes, I've got to say they are super pretty. Truly so simple. you've got, so you start with Icon, and, yeah. and we, don't, we haven't talked about prices. I guess I'll cover that now so yeah i think that's the one area where um i'm i'm a little bit slightly hesitant about what they've done but uh they've made the decision to increase pricing on the standard bike to 8150 and then there's a, another quite a big jump yeah. for these more kind of trick finished bikes the full throttle goes nine. at 9.1 9.1 deep breath 
nine seven. Nine seven. And, it, See, at that and just price, when you thought it couldn't get more expensive, yeah, yeah. the desert sled is nine eight. Wow. I mean, you know, this uh, this cafe race has got some competition at that kind ah, of money. You know, you're not wrong. I think product predominantly for me is the Z900 RS Kawasaki. I yeah. mean, that is a stiff competition for this. Well, the, the, this I think bike. is it there is it there. Cafe racer, I can't, you know the, the the bike that we saw at the NEC last year with the, yeah. the sort of green and the front cowling. I mean, they're they're a ten thousand pound bike. You know, ten thousand. You've got you've got. And a, you can get a, it in the candy tone orange at like ten three. You've got a bigger bike. You've got more yeah. power. It's you know the, with the best one in the world. That a is a phenomenal bike. Oh, I mean, I mean obviously we rode it. Right? Yeah, and, and, and it's a stunning bike. It, you're, you're getting perilously close to that point, aren't you? You are. I mean, I and think I think if I was if, if in terms of performance, that, this is not going to touch that. Obviously, no, no. And in terms of styling, you know, that's 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 your own choice. Isn't Absolutely, it? And, and and look, you know, I, I can kind of see where the money goes because you know what you get is a really really beautifully styled bike having said that you're taking yourself into a place where like you quite rightly said there are a lot of bikes at that money and you've got to be a little bit careful haven't you but yeah. you know again you know Ducati is an aspirational brand isn't of course it? it is and you know there's a lot of folk out there who really do want to ride a Ducati and they don't necessarily want a rip snorting v4 with 200 horsepower they don't want a huge adventure or a tour bike they want something they can run out of the weekends on a sunny day look cool and, yeah. you know enjoy a non-intimidating bike and this does the job very very well obviously the deals we you know ducati i know for the scrambler always come up with some really good pcp yeah. deals so you know there'll be that available um obviously that level of detail is not released right now but i'm imagining there'll be some great deals on and do you know what i'm personally a massive fan of these new models i've got to if, say if, I'm, I'm i'm pretty taken you know I, you know what we like i like a powerful motorcycle something with you know three figures and more but you know this is a lovely piece of kit i must say absolutely so thanks so much for watching please subscribe to the channel if you're not already and hope you're enjoying these little reviews you know it's just a part of what we're doing as being a part of these shows and uh, yeah so thanks so much and we'll see you on the next one